Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another video from me the Skyrender. And uh, just going at it, the footage has nothing to do with um, the video in mind. But I really wanted to talk about the stalling place a little bit. Because the thing is, um, it kind of have been quite obvious that lately people has been... Uh, or it always been a thing that when somebody's saying somebody's stalling, uh, they usually react uh, kind of badly to it, um, which is something that I want to try to explain. Um, to stall a Pokemon battle is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, if anything, it's a it's a working play style, and it requires a lot of uh, preparation and good prediction to actually work or to make a stall team work you have to have some kind of idea um, what the opponent's gonna do to actually wall efficiently uh, as you guys may or may not know I usually play hyper offensively and that is to contradict um, stalling team better it does put me in a worse kind of position against more balanced team but um, it's my best response to stalling because it's never pleasant to uh, be stalled out. If anything, is one of the worst thing to kind of experience. But uh, huh, there we go. Whoops. Um, that just doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> ah, a developer. <laughs> anyway, um, the thing I want to really talk about when it comes to uh, stalling is that it requires a whole lot from a person to stall efficiently. And uh, if I lose due to stalling. Um, damn nifty moves in that Pelipper. Uh, <laughs> if I lose to stalling, uh, it's only my fault. Like, my opponent obviously played a better game, was much better in predicting, and the direct result of that should be his win, if anything. And that's really something that I want people to kind of keep in mind, that to stall efficiently, um, you really need to consider your opponent's way of battling before actually you know, go hating on them, that they're stalling out the battle, that they're playing badly because they're stalling you out. Um, you should more react to yourself, why are you being stalled out? What did you not prep for? What did you lose to? If you're seeing a team being built with five walls in mind, or a, a more tankier team with uh, bulk in mind, then you should respond directly to that and realize that this is what you're going up against. And not hating on the player that win against you, you should definitely go on and try to really ask yourself why did you lose and more balanced teams tend to have a bit more bulky amounts in mind and people tend to tell them that they are being stally and that's not the same thing if they have the mods to kind of wall an opponent then you know that's a thing but it's, the purpose is really to stall out um, those teams are built much much tougher and usually contradicts, which of course hazards and whatnot and spin blockages. So yeah, I really just wanted to share that thought because I don't really like the hate that people are sharing against Stolly teams because they're basically neglecting these players of being good because they are attacking when it all comes down to that they don't really need to attack if they can't predict your rights. So yeah, basically I want to throw it out yeah, to you guys. I mean, it's nothing serious of a video. But I really want to hear what you guys think. I'm not getting too much detail on how to produce a Stolly team because, I gotta be honest, while I have some premises of making Stolly teams, I'm not that good with them. Mostly because I like to play aggressive and if I can't do that, I'm, 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 I'm basically bad. Um, so uh, I'm the wrong person to ask for that, but there are plenty of players that does that well. And make sure to look at them in that perspective. If they're being wally, are they being wally because they need to, or is, are they doing it because that's their main idea? There are two different things. Like I said, stalling because you need to, like you do in balance team, are to stop the momentum of your opponent. Stally teams are to make sure that the opponent gets enough momentum whatsoever. The team itself barely cares for it. It doesn't need it. It can basically, if you can, if that team can stop a potential momentum going, that's the purpose of the team. <laughs> so that's the difference, uh, or one of the differences. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I'm like a bit of short video, and you get to see Volcano. Hey, <laughs> but really, I just want to share that thought. And like I said, share your thoughts. What are your thoughts about Stolly teams? 
Are you getting upset when you lose against installing team because you think there's being installing, or do you get upset because you didn't respond better? Um, and uh, yeah, I think that will be it. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.